All right, boys, we got Abram and Lambo semifinal matchup in the what are we in the uh, unstoppable challenge? I believe is what it's called. So uh, let's take a look at what they're doing. So Abram is going to be in, I believe he's in, I know he's in Vikings playbook running a lot of 335 bot. I want to say he's still in Chargers. He was in Chargers before. Uh, I'm pretty sure that he's still in Chargers. And then Lambo, uh, we don't know what Lambo is going to be doing. I think he's going to be running some 3-4 odd and basically just blitzing everybody and uh, trying to get a stop here. We do have... Uh, both of these schemes out in our school community if you guys want to check that out but uh, let's see here a little okay this is a nice little combo we've got a little little flat little tight end corner streak uh so basically what we're looking at is essentially we've got a two-man game over here and we got a, a heavy five out over here so uh typically three four odd is a mana line defense that's why auto motion gives it a little bit of issues and you're going to typically get a send six uh, so if that is the case, this flat is a quick read you can hit. If this linebacker blitzes, we isolate this defender, and we can work those two-man game there. So we'll kind of see what what um, what Abram is doing. And there you see he takes that quick read to that flat, and Lambo gets KO to start out. So Lambo is in that pinch buck zero. It does look like he's running it with auto clip off, always having that linebacker on the left side. One of the best ways to block that blitz is to block your tight end. We're going to see Abram block his tight end right here, and we're going to get a, a nice combo. Love that corner strike, corner route, and check out this combo. I've talked about this before, but this is that post, that drag. We know it's man coverage. We're going to have a little flat and then force him to guard the running back, and so we can work this high-low here, or we can work this high-low here if we do guess wrong and it ends up being zone coverage. All right, so next play here for Abram, starting first drive. And you're seeing uh, kind of how Lambo is going to start to do this. Here we get a back, it looks like almost like a backed off the corner, shaded outside look. Uh, and then he's going to motion into a five wide, two seam streaks. He's got, oh, yeah, good D by Lambo. One of the things you got to see this real quick, what Lambo does, this is, good, this is a touchdown if Lambo doesn't do this. So basically the read here is that he knows this is probably the D, right? So the user is right here. Now, while the user can run with the tight end, it's super hard to actually pick it off. But what Lambo's able to do is watch last second, he moves over here and he's going to manually bump the tight end, which completely messes up the route timing. And it's going to allow for this pressure to be able to get home. So that's a super, super big play uh, by Lambo, just kind of showing a little bit of how he's planning to defend the five wide uh, angle that you're going to see uh, Abram run. So here's that. There's that short corner again. Nice read, crisp read. And you see that this is why I like corner strike a lot. That corner strike corner out. If it's off coverage, always going to beat man pretty much. I've not really seen that that not get beat. Uh, going to motion corner under. I believe this has got to be Chargers. Um, gonna get this motion. I love this combo. This is in our Chargers ebook. But basically, what you have here is you got this nice stem down corner, and then you're gonna see here we're looking at the streak to that tight end corner. Open, nice switch stick from Lambo, trying to kind of bite down. One of the things that Lambo's trying to do, this whole defensive philosophy, is I'm gonna send a lot of pressure. I'm gonna try to get you to throw a route, and I'm gonna try to jump it with a switch stick. That's basically the idea. And you're going to have to make these reads very quickly because the 3 4 odd blitz, a lot of people have kind of left 3 4 odd. 3 4 odd is a lot better because the linebackers are getting a lot faster. Every week the linebackers get faster, and these linebackers are now, this blitz is screaming in. That's a great read by Abram. That was the same switch stick that Lambo did the play before, where Abram almost threw the pick. Here he makes him pay for it with a touchdown on his first drive. And he is able to uh, get on the board early. All right, so let's see what Lambo is going to be doing on the offensive side of the ball. This is Lambo's first live event, and he did win a game. Um, I can't remember who he played first round. I think he played TJ. Uh, he played TJ first round, was able to win. And TJ had a great year last year. And uh, this was, I think, TJ's first live event this year. These are the guys' team. Uh, real quick, you take a look here. 20 Falcons is kind of one of the more up-and-coming metas 
and I think maybe 20 Patriots is what it looks like. Uh, but in general, the main reason you're trying to, to uh, do a theme team is to try to get your corners or your receivers faster. Okay, so Lambo's in this normal Y off close, I believe. And this is, uh, this is Eagles if he's in this. Double streaks, first play. Actually, a really great click on. What happened right there, Abram was able to click on, strip the ball away. And you're going to see Lambo do some different stuff. He's going to go with this little jet touch pass. I think that's sale. Um, but a lot of doubles for Lambo, which is a little different. We haven't seen that a lot. This year's game, almost any offense can be ran at a really high level. It's basically you need to be centered around seam streaks and basically seam streaks. Uh, seam streaks is the most important. Um, Important route. I think these short posts are becoming really, really valuable. You're going to see him go to it right here. Um, this is, I believe, this has to be out of Eagles. I, I don't think it's in any other formation. It, it might be. But you've got some good stuff here. He's going to go to this Trips Flex. Trips Flex has this nice short post from the tight end. He literally has three streaks on the left side of the field. That we have not seen. And Lambo is going to play a lot. He's going to play like that. Like, he's very... Just almost unorthodox um, in terms of how he plays offense. That was the interception. That was the stop, and that would have been that would have been a huge stop for Abram uh, because Lambo does get ball at half. So you're never really out of a game when you get ball at halftime, uh, unless you really really get behind, you know. But if you're down even 14-0, you're not really out of it. Um, you just want to not get down by three possessions. That's really the idea. So goes to bunch nasty here, and Lambo using Lamar. There we go. Nice read. Throws that out to Hyatt. Notice a lot of these guys are going to be on this Hyatt card. Let's take a look. I think Woods, 88. Uh, Gusecki. Gusecki is a really good tight end. I use him too. Throws the ball away. He had the post wide open. That's what I'm saying. These short post routes are really valuable. Those are routes that you can't hot route anymore. You used to be able to put a slot in front of his post all over the field. Now you really can't get this route, uh, unfortunately, with, with the way they did the hot routes this year. So what it's this short post right here. Here you're gonna see Lambo um, go to this off the cheap wheel. Love this combo right here. It's got that post, takes that flat check down, and now we're in a third and seven situation. So we'll see what Abram is cooking. Abram is gonna be in baseline show blitz odd and good defense. That's gonna be a fourth down. So right here, you're going to see kind of Abram's best stuff defensively. It looks like Lambo haven't seen a lot of those doubles off close. I see a lot of the normal Y off close, but not this. This doubles off close is a little different. This normal Y off close is the main formation that I feel like would be a really good two by two set. Anyway, he's going to go to trip side and flex. Probably going to go to motion post. You got to go to that here. Uh, this is the real route combination. I've just never seen this. We have three streaks on fourth and seven. I just, I don't know how this works out. Let's see. I guess that's how it works out. Works out for him. <laughs> it's just like a super weird route combo if you haven't seen that. I've seen like two streaks uh, out of verticals. Going to this jet touch pass again. Loves this jet touch pass. Just trying to get some cheap yardage. Second seven. Abram, Abram is making him work. You know, making him work. Trying to have a, basically an opportunity for maybe a red zone stop here. Got that linebacker out there. Played that bubble fairly decently, but he just kind of didn't animate. And now we do have a red zone situation. Always really valuable to kind of watch and see what these guys are doing down in the red zone here. Going to go this RPO again. Looking for this bubble screen. Now he's going to check into that touch pass. So we'll see. And he's going to burn the timeout. I don't love that. You got a first and goal. You don't need to burn a timeout right there. You could even just run a basic run. Just felt like that was uh, just kind of a bad decision by Lambo to burn that timeout right there. And I believe it was him that called it. It wasn't Abram. Yeah, it wasn't Abram. I really value first half timeouts, too. I think anytime you can save those those uh, timeouts to those end of half scenarios is really valuable. He literally just ran stock quick slants. This is what Lambo does. Um, he runs just super off, like it, it's very different from what most of these guys are going to be doing competitively. He's going to do stuff that's very unorthodox. Here he is going to go to more of a meta thing with this flat, good blitz there from Abram. And now we're in a third and goal. 
And if Abram is able to hold him to three and then Abram can go get seven, that's a big deal. So he's walking this guy out. He's going to blitz that guy off the edge, blitz this guy off the edge. He's going to have coverage all around it. Looks like we're going to go to that RPO flat again. That flat's really hard to guard. Kind of got a user that. Goes to that again. Almost throws a pick. And now we had a fourth and goal. Should take your three here. We'll see if he does. Uh, but I think you have to take your three here. Uh, this shouldn't even be a thought. He is going to, I guess, take a look at it. But I I don't love this call if you're going for this this early. I feel like it's very early to go for it here. Unless he's got something. But these are just pretty basic, standard red zone plays that we know at this point. Uh, we got this motion post. There you see in route. Uh, he's going to throw right at him. There's the pick. And now he's got zero points. So now if Abram goes down and scores seven, this game is in a really, really delicate position for Lambo. He's not out of the game because he does get that ball at halftime. A lot of this is going to come down to the end of half scenario. But that is a huge mistake, a terrible decision. Terrible read, terrible decision. He's using it the whole way through. Um, you know, got it just kind of just a bad, bad all around uh, right there. And, you know, this is Lambo's first live event. All right, so we'll see what he has for him defensively. Still in that 3-4 odds. Still going to be sending the goons. Uh, we're going to see Abram go back to that corner route to tight end now. Love that. That time Lambo didn't switch stick off of it because Abram hit him uh, with the touchdown to play before. Able to just take that tight end route and uh, be able to put him in, put Lambo in a tough tough, uh, tough position. Really hard to get stops in this game. In Lambo's defense, I feel like um, what you're really trying, trying for with that kind of defense is basically uh, one or two picks a game. So this that stop is really, really, really big. 3-4 uh, odd is a good defense, but it does struggle um, against, you know, players like Abram that are going to block the running back. They're going to pick up the blitz. They're going to have good, quick routes. You see see that right there, though? That's what he's banking on is that D-line pick, that throw out a sack. That's what Lambeau's trying to get um, in terms of trying to get his stop. So just going to be interesting to watch uh, how he adjusts. It's pretty much straight man-to-man -man, um, with a little bit of adjustment, but not a ton, especially on that bunch side. You're seeing man coverage almost every time on the bunch side. Kind of interesting this year. There's Man coverage is okay. Press man is way better than off man, in my opinion. So these corner routes are basically free. Um, and you're seeing, I mean, almost every play, he has a corner route. He has a drag. He has a post. You see it here again. There's the post, and you see just that timing, and that's that's what Ab or that's what Lambo's banking on is that that blitz is going to get home before that post can break over the middle of the field. Got really quick pressure there. Abram going to go to a quick snap here. No, he's not. Was going to go to that flood quick snap with the streak. Going to go back to that same basic concept of a play here. Really needs. Um, honestly, I almost think you take the tight end out of it and you make this a max pro because this post will be wide open. We'll see how this gets usered, but the post should be, and that's a good switch stick, and you see him get him again with that with that quick pressure. 3-4 odd, the blitz screams now. Um, it, it really is a great blitz. We have a full breakdown of this defense, but these dudes absolutely scream at you. I mean, it's quick pressure. It's probably the quickest blitz in the game. It's kind of similar to what 4-3, even 6-1 was in Madden 24 at the end of the year with the super fast linebackers. Now with 3-4 odd, you're seeing this real clean edge pressure that he's going to get. Now we're going to block that tight end. And see here, nothing really there. And this time, Lambo goes basically full coverage. And, uh, shot, you know, good good play by Amber, though, getting uh, getting a little bit of yardage there. And that's going to bring him a fourth and five. Kind of a big decision here if you're Abram. I do like the decision to take a three. The reason why is because the way you want to play Lambo, in my opinion, is you want to make Lambo like you want to make him work offensively. You can't give up any kind of layups or big plays. And then when he's a defensively, you don't want to put you don't want to run a fourth down against Lambo because Lambo does some weird like it's just it's hard to predict. He's all over the place. He's gonna he'll switch stick stuff that you wouldn't normally see. You kind of want to play a little bit more simple against Lambo because how. Um, I'm trying to think what the right word, just like not random. It is to a degree random, but just how different he plays from most players in this tournament. Okay. So 
Anyway, starting out a little bubble screen here. And and honestly, Abram's also in a good position here to be able to get the ball back. Um, we'll see what Lambo wants to do from a clocking perspective. But this is pretty difficult of a clock here. So you're probably going to just see kind of more of a standard offensive drive. X dagger. He loves this bubble screen. Oh, I think it's because it's a read bubble screen now that I think about it. I bet you that that is... That's why he's doing that. Let's take a look at the Eagles book. Doubles off close. Yeah, he's throwing that bubble screen 15 times. Yeah, it's an RPO read bubble. So that's why he's going to that. Um, that read bubble uh, is going to put that slot corner in a lot of conflict. And it's hard for that slot corner to be right. So anyway, let's see here. Good defense. And, and I'm telling you, the big thing with Lambo is make him score inside the five. Like, you, you've got to make him. He's one of those. It's the big thing with everybody this year, but especially players like this. Um, you, you do not want to bust a coverage. And Lambo is going to try to clock this. So we see here, uh, this is going to be bring up that two-minute warning. And he is going to definitely, he is going to definitely try to clock it. So probably go to the bubble again. Looks like he's going to double streaks. That's insane that that's open. <laughs> that's just that's just this game for you. Sometimes those streaks just randomly beat him. Um, it's it's it, it's it feels very random. Um, it might not be, but it it feels very random this year when a streak is covered versus when a streak's open. So. Lambo centers his offense very clearly around a jet touch pass, a bubble screen. That's an RPO read bubble, so it glitches the slot corner. And seam streaks, or basically everybody on a streak. Literally everyone's on a streak. We match protect, and it's just open. And that's just free. That's kind of unfortunate for Abram, to be honest. And there's a corner out wide open. Good read. Abram, uh, in this situation, this is a, a big possession for Abram. You obviously are happy if it's 13 to 7. Like that's better than obviously, you know, being down there is that pressure. Uh, but this is a big this is a big drive for Abram. You kind of want to have seven here. Going half 17 to 7 is a lot different than going in 13 to 7. So we'll kind of see what Abram ends up doing. But you're seeing this 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 blitz is humming. This is also a really good example, I think. And you see there's that pressure. Look at that. So the, this is also a really good example. One of the things I like about what Lambo's doing defensively, nobody likes to get screamed at. Nobody likes to get that pressure. And so if you can get this consistent pressure all game and, and get just enough coverage, it's not fun to play this. This Like Abram is, this is not enjoyable for Abram. This is very difficult um, to consistently beat a good blitz like this with a good switch stick. This is a good uh, a good way to play the game here. So we got two corner routes, a post and a flat on a fourth down, a throw out a sack, and there is the stop. And now you see a massive shift. As I said, this was a big drive. It was going to come down to how the end of the half was handled because the big issue is Abram doesn't get ball at half. And because Abram doesn't get ball at half, it puts Lambo in a position now to get in front of the game and Lamb being behind against Ab uh, Lambo never somewhere you want to be, uh, because he's gonna send every he's gonna send six every almost every play. I mean, I think I, very few plays has he not sent six. Going to this RPO read bubble second and one. We already know it. Watch this corner. You'll see because he's the R icon, he blitzes in, and this is one of the best RPOs in the game. And if you're an Eagles, you better be running this play because I <laughs> it, this is very difficult to stop. Uh, because this it puts this dude in so much conflict. There's the little RPO flat, a tight end misread. Throw that one though. Break a tackle. Yeah, I mean here you're seeing now Lambo's coming, coming for him here. But again, we have another red zone situation. If Abram can hold him to three, it's it's very uh, manageable the situation. If Abram gives up seven here, now we start to see the whole momentum shift back to Lambo's favor. So this is a huge second and two, 12 seconds left, one timeout, motion, tight end, 15 in routes, throw the flat, and that's free. That was wide open. 
I don't know if everyone just forgot the shade underneath, but that was wide open, running back flat route, and it's always interesting to me watching these tournaments how you watch these guys play. These guys are just the best players in the world, you know, just really good players. And every now and then you'll watch, and they'll give up some layups. You know, give him the seam, give him the fade for a one play touchdown. Right, that that's a three point shot. Give him a wide open flat for another touchdown. That's a layup, in my opinion. Make them beat you in the mid range, and that's honestly, if you look at what Lambo's doing defensively, almost all of Abrams' throws are mid range throws. They're corner routes, they're post routes that have the potential to beat him for one play score, but they don't because the blitz is there. So it's just an interesting, you know, kind of some things that I've been looking at in my own game of just the management of a game. There, there's a lot to that, I think. So anyway, going to try to throw this up, but that is going to be that for the first half. All right, boys, second half, this is a uh, kind of a big da- big drive for Abram. Uh, obviously, Lambo has the lead at half. And, uh, oh, that is like the worst possible thing you could do if you... <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, this is one of the blindest reads. Oh, <laughs> This is like, this is how I throw picks. Oh my gosh, watch this. Okay, so this is a, okay, so you got to realize, like, this is the first play of the second half. Lambo has um, has just done a really good job of, like, getting all the momentum back on his side, right? He's going to run his play where we just put everybody on a streak and we have a little block and release hook. Um, this is like an all-time bad read. <laughs> Look at this. So, okay, we send four. You got to block the running back. He blocks it. He picks it up. You see here, this time, this guy doesn't just automatically get beat. But look at this. This is that blue route curl. I don't know what. Like, look at this. And Lambo's user just runs straight down on it. He throws it. <laughs> the pick six. Completely flipping the game. Now, I will say, I will say, uh, Lambo not out of this at all. But that is a really, really, really bad read. And uh, Abram gets out and uh, gets get, <laughs> gets gets blessed with one, honestly. Um, so we'll see how Lambo responds on this drive. Because now this is one of the biggest drives of the game for Lambo, uh, trying to come back and uh, and get back get back right offensively. This is what Lambo does, though. This is how he plays. There we go. Start with that RPL. See, why didn't you call that on the first play? Um, just kind of interesting, but this, this is such a good RPO. Uh, if you take anything from this is that that RPO is really, really, really powerful. Um, get that jet touch pass. See, give you some good basic plays. Uh, don't love that call. The jet touch pass has not been very effective at all for him tonight. Um, for him in the, in this game. So now we get that normal off close. Love this. This is that PA snag. Watch that post route. Beautiful route. It's one of my favorite routes of all time in Madden is those short post routes. Um, you, you want those in your playbook. It's not the hot routed post. It's a short cutting, sharp cutting post that runs like really flat. It, it's, it, it basically is an in route, uh, but it's just a little better. And it just, just does a, a lot better at beating uh, different coverages. There we get a little throw out a sack, a uh, shed, and now we get him into a second and 10. Going to go to that RPO. Looks like that's going to be his base play. And then he audibles out from there. And he does throw that RPO. And it's about four yards. You see, I mean, it's this RPO is is giving Abram fits. Uh, but this P, PA snag, you get this nice sharp post from the left. Um, this formation is so good because you have one from the left. And you have one from the right. Uh, which makes, I think it makes it really, really, really good. But right there, Abram, good defense, gets him on a fourth down. And Abram's running a lot of, like, kind of overtly adjusted man uh, on this, honestly. We're seeing a lot of man from Abram, too. And he's going to be able to get the pick. Woolen, that is a huge stop for Abram. The difference between Abram's man coverage and Lambeau's man coverage is primarily Abram is running it out of a nickel set, and he's pressing most of the time. Whereas Lambo doesn't really press. You see three people get jammed, and that was probably a shaded outside man coverage. Does the job, gets the pick, 
and now Abram should take full control of this game. This is where, if you're Abram, this is where you put the game away. You do not let Abram get back, or you do not let Lambo get back this game. You need seven here. You are thinking seven points really puts me in a good position. So he, these are going to be like his money plays against this blitz. Uh, but this blitz is doing really doing the job. It's coming in. It's getting pressure. Uh, offense has not been easy for Abram. We'll say. They're a little bit of an adjustment. There's that return route. That time, Lambo drops out. And honestly, great patience from Abram in uh, in just, you know, kind of like staying with the play, not kind of tap dance in the pocket, just staying with the play, going through his progressions, hits that return route over the middle of the field. When you play blitzes like this, it's very possible. Like, you're, you're mental. You start getting – you start speeding yourself up sometimes too. So that's a high point. Um, this is another feature of Madden 25. Lovely feature is that high balls, um, defenders basically don't animate on high balls, especially if you're using that defender. So you can just throw it out, people. Uh, Lambo honestly probably made the right adjustment and made a good made a good play, uh, but just wasn't able to animate for the ball. So red zone situation for Abram. Just going to try to run the ball in here at a wing tight with big icky woods. Thought he was going to get in there, wasn't able to. And I think this would be Abram's third final this year. Uh, he lost in the finals against Jombies. He lost, eh, I don't, maybe, I don't know if he did. Almost positive he lost. He didn't lose. He lost in the semis, I think, against John. There he is, able to get in. I think he lost in the semis against John. He lost in the finals against Fancy. You know, Abram's been right there um, a lot this year. So, anyway, good, good, uh, good on him getting that seven. And now this is a stay alive drive for Lambo. Uh, three is okay, but you really, really need seven. You're kind of running out of time here. The pressure's starting to mount. You've got to kind of go down, get seven, and get yourself kind of back in this game. He's gonna go to trips flex, auto motions across. Remember that tight end short post. They're there. Nice man up from Abram. I'd love to see what Abram's base play is defensively because I think he actually might be manning them up himself. I mean, I can't, I'm not 100% sure on that, but yeah, I mean, it's just man to man. Look at this man coverage. He's, Abram has been in man majority of the year. This is the best it's looked, in my opinion. Yeah, he's basically basing out of this RPO bubble. That's kind of his his base quick hike, but it's just yeah, it's just kind of interesting. Yeah, see how this guy moves out here. I don't know. Maybe this maybe this is um, I think he is basing out of the man coverage play in three three five odd. Uh, it's got to be that pinch zero play because that safety is also kind of coming down and getting over the top of that number two receiver. So it's probably that. Probably that uh, that base play. All right, so doubles off close week again for Lambo. Kind of, you know, honestly, like let's pick the pick the pace up, pick the plays up. You don't have a ton of time here, you know, because um, there, there's that manual press of that tight end. It's a nice read on that drag route, and I think Abram is really just willing to concede that kind of a throw. Here's that RPO, or not RPO, but auto motion flat. Good read against man. Gets a couple yards. But, I mean, this is – this should take us to the fourth. So, this takes us to the fourth quarter. And see what Lambo's got for the last stretch of this game. But, again, you see, like, five minutes, you know, you, you, you got to score. Uh, you got to move quicker here because you're kind of – you're kind of putting yourself in a position where you're really only giving yourself one more chance at a stop. Um, so anyway, don't see this play called a lot. This is out of that normal off close, but it's an auto motion angle route to the running back. Ends up ends up being open. It's a good way to beat man for sure. And shout out to USAA supporting the troops. All right, so we got PA snag here. You have that short post on the left side. Double drags, a streak, and a short post. 
one of my favorite combos just beats ever coverage uh, those drags what i like about drags is they just can be thrown in like 15 different windows and that's honestly what i like about post routes too i just love those kind of cross routes there's you see there man that man coverage and i want to say abram's probably shading that man coverage at the very least underneath if not inside and underneath you know that abram's you know obviously adjusting that man coverage it's basically a thin four in man coverage, honestly. If you really look at this, this is why I'm surprised that he's not in Cub. Because Cub, you could send both lines. You could send five and basically play man. So I'm kind of surprised that he doesn't want to be in, in, in Cub. Because he's pretty much always manning that slot corner up. So and that might mean that... Yeah, I'm just not I'm not entirely sure what he's in defensively. He's usually on the left side too, which you don't see as much in this defense. Now he sends both of them. And Lambo just torched that. That's huge for Lambo. That's a huge that's third and twenty two. That's a huge, huge score uh for Lambo. Kind of getting him into a a more advantageous chance to be able to get back into this game. Alright, so Abram offensively here. Did Lambo try for an onside? Let's back this up. He had to have tried for an onside kick. Let's go back here. Totally missed something. Yeah, he did try for an onside. All right, so he tried for an onside. Didn't get it. Kind of surprised that he did try for an onside. I guess he's doing that for a clock, for a clock management perspective. But I don't know that that really changes a whole lot for him. I feel like it gives Abram the ability to make it an easy two-score game. You probably do onside there, but not sure. Not sure on that one. All right, so second and seven. Now we have switched. We've changed defenses, too. Uh, Lambo is in the double mug here. Got kind of a wonky alignment over here. There's that out route. What Abrams also, I'm pretty sure, doing with that out route is he's stemming that out route down. So it just runs real quick. So it's like a quick flat, but it has a cut to it. And that cut is what allows it to beat man coverage uh, pretty decently. Third and one, Abram's going to put it all in line with a run. And it's going to be free. Free first down there. Now you're basically up against it. If Lambert doesn't get a stop right here, he's in trouble. Got one more play. This is the pin and pull toss. This has got to be Chargers. Go into that. And that should take us to the two-minute warning. Will take us to the two-minute warning. Uh, Lambo's got three timeouts. So basically, if you're Abram, one first down doesn't necessarily win the game, but it, it puts it puts it to a degree on ice. It's going to just take his touchdown, actually. Um, but don't hate that because he's already up three. Um, if he was up, if it was a tie game, I wouldn't love the touchdown there. But he's just going to take his touchdown, able to get that. And now Lambeau is going to get get the ball back. Minute 55, still a street timeout, so he's not out of this game. He needs to – he's kind of in that position, though, where you either need to kick a field goal and then try to get it onside or kick a uh, – or, or score quickly. The big issue right now is the clock. And it really comes down to how does Lambeau want to play it. But ultimately, you're going to pretty much need an onside kick. And we have not seen, I think we've seen one onside kick this year uh, in live events. But it's not very common uh, at all. Screen. And also notice that Abram is going to more of a zone-based defense, which is kind of an interesting decision. Probably just doing that to try to keep the lid on, try to keep everything in front of you. You basically just want this drive to take as much time as possible. But see, notice where the slot corner is. He might be – I just don't – I don't know what he's in defensively. Is he maybe just coming out and cover two man and just saying that's it? He could be because he's only sending four. So he he might just be literally coming out and cover two man and just, and just, and just balling that way. Uh, with auto flip off and then just letting that slot corner flip himself. I could see that, but you got to, you know, that's kind of interesting, interesting, but anyway, 
over adjusted there. Going to bring up a third and eight. Watch this guy on this right side. Is this enough pressure? Is that again? That fade got him again. And he broke 15 tackles. That's the same exact touchdown Abram gave up. Maybe that's just one of those things with that route where it can just it can just beat. It can just beat coverage. All right, here's the onside kick. And oh my goodness, he got it. Oh my goodness, he got it. Abram's face. This is not good now. He scored with plenty of time. He has all his timeouts. Pendulum has completely shifted back to Lambo. This is how Lambo wins games. Oh my goodness, the game was over. The game was over. There was that RPO. We knew that was coming. Oh my goodness, 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 goodness. So if you're Lambo here, you got to get in field goal range and then you got to win the game. You do have to get in field goal range. I think you got to be about the 38 yard line at this point. So you do have to kind of get a, you know, you kind of have to get down the field. I can't believe he got the onside kick. Third and four. 52 seconds left, two timeouts. And you're seeing now Abrams kind of back in that, you know, that man. Notice how that slot corner flips. Um, it, it Another thing that, that that's going to do, it's going to mess the blitz up too. Or no, it didn't miss. Never mind, I forgot. I forgot he moved him out. So he's got to just be coming out and cover to man. Auto flip off and just walking this guy out. Because notice here, he's over here now. Yeah, I think that's what he's doing. I can't believe it took me that long to figure that out. But Yeah, okay, out of motion. Where is he coming now? That's got to be a quarter. That's got to be a quarter right there. He's got to just, okay. Because these auto motions are the main counter to cover two man, and Abram's honestly handling them pretty well. Let's go second and ten. One time out left for Lambo. Auto motion again. This is going to be a quarter. He's going to switch it and take the post and then bite. Boom. There's your field goal. We're probably going to go over time. I really hope Lambo does not score a touchdown off an onside. That's just such a bad way to lose. This guy again. Scream. Yeah, it's just it's tough. There's 12 seconds. This is. Yeah, you. I don't know what you do if you're Lambo. What do you call here? 12 seconds. What do you call in this situation? I think you call that streak play that he scored on. That he's the the um is he gonna do three streaks on the right side now? The glowing dude? Three streaks, tight end post. The flat right I don't love. I don't know what that gets you. Didn't throw it. I guess that gets you a timeout and one more throw. Kind of decision time. You can definitely mismanage this if you're Lambo. You can't take a sack. You can't hold the ball too long. You can't throw a pick. You have to pass this. You know that at, uh, this is probably just a quick hike. 15 streaks. Throw it away. All right. So there's your field goal. We are going to be going to overtime in this game. Or is he going to throw? He's not going to. Dude, he wants to go for this so bad. You cannot go for this. You cannot go for this, man. You're living off an onside kick. You cannot go for this. All right, so Abram's going to give him the timeout. Lambo wants so badly to, to go for it or do a fake field goal or – this is how Lambo plays. This is just him. He's just he lives like this. He's he's just re almost reckless, like wild. He plays very different. Um, but you gotta take this field goal. This, yeah, take the field goal. All right. So, barring a kick return or a hail mary, we're gonna get overtime, which is super unfortunate because I feel like Abram, you know, the game's basically put away. And um, him taking that touchdown, normally the right decision, but Lambo got an onside kick and just completely changed the game. We have seen Hail Marys before. 
and it seems like this goal post play is the play you want to run. I would assume you're highballing this. Lambo's going to – I like that Lambo sends everybody. Highball that's a green. Doink, doink, doink. Nope. Just going to get the pick, and that's going to be it. We're going to go to overtime in a game that Abram probably won two or three times. Lambo fought, clawed his way back in. Kind of a kind of an interesting game so far. I do think overtime favors Abram. That being said, anything can happen in overtime, you know. So I think that might have also been why Lambo was kind of to a degree um, really seriously considering going for that. All right, so Lambo is going to get the ball. This favors Abram. Because both teams have to possess the ball. So if Lambeau scores a touchdown, Abram can go score a touchdown and then go for a two-point conversion to win. If Abram holds to three and he goes and scores a touchdown, he wins the game. And if Abram gets a stop and then goes and scores, he wins the game. So um, kind of uh, definitely, in my opinion, favored uh, favors the defense first with these overtime rules. Give me a little audible to trips. There's that walkout. Notice that this guy can't really do much here. So he's always quartering and thirding there. So that's that's the deal. That's just the setup. I'll tell you, for Abram, with as much MCS success as I've seen Abram have, he runs the same shell all game long. Like it it really does seem like that. He's gonna sit in the same basic shell. Oh man, I thought Lambo would throw that. <laughs> He will sit in that same shell. So you see here, we got man, man. Over here, it almost looks like he, I don't know if he's, he's not always zoning these guys, is he? I bet he's zoning them here. Yeah, middle third, middle third. So he basic. okay, so basically he's manning one side and then essentially just using the other side, especially against this formation. When he goes to this, this is always outside third or outside quarter, inside third. This is going to be a quarter over the top. And then this is man here, and he's going to use her this right side guy. So watch. Boom. Oh, that was your pick. That was a really good switch to it. He is adjusting a little bit out of this, though. He is definitely adjusting a little bit out of this. It's not just straight man every play. Notice the slot corner doesn't travel. Uh, that means that he's in a, a zone... I want to say he's in a zone shell. Uh, it does look like he is in more of a zone shell now. There's a nice switch stick. I'm kind of surprised he's shifted to zone, though. He's had so much success in that main coverage look that it does seem like he's pretty much shifting to zone. Obviously, he's manning some people up. He's, you know, I mean, every every coverage and at this level is a hybrid, but in, it's kind of like what's your what's your core coverage structure. Um, and you're kind of seeing Abram shift to more of his own look. Uh-oh, we've got a misalignment over here. I honestly think it's just, if you ran Cub, it might even, it, I think it's just a little easier. Um, but maybe this, this has to be just maybe the blitz is better. There's man. Oh, he had a touchdown. He messed up. Ah, it's third and nine. Good conversion. He did miss that touchdown. He had the guy wide open over the middle of the field for a touchdown. We got doubles. This is that normal close. There's the jet touch pass. And then it went for a negative two. I think literally the jet touch pass has been called seven times for a total of maybe 10 yards. It's not worked at all. So watch this. If this tight end goes under, he's going to switch stick right here. So watch how this plays. He's going to switch stick right here. Boom. Dives. That's a really high level switch stick, honestly, though. Like, And I like how systematic that is uh, for a cover show. If that tight end's not on the streak, he's instantly switch sticking onto the quarter. And he's trying to bite down on any of that stuff over there. And obviously, probably looking for backside post. This is where you're going to get a stop, though. Third and four. Best, best chance to get a stop is red zone. 
Now we have backed off corners. Um, flat. And there it is. Touchdown. This has been a wild game. Um, somehow Lambo's in the lead. <laughs> now he's thinking here, like, you're, if you're Lambo, I don't hate a two point conversion. I don't think you do that, but it just comes down to do you have more faith in you either score a two point conversion or more faith in you being able to stop a two point conversion? Lambo makes the decision. I have more faith in my ability to stop a two point conversion. And so now Abram has to drive the length of the field. He has to score a touchdown. And more than likely, we will see Abram go for two. Because once Abram scores a touchdown, that means that if Lambo gets a field goal, he wins. So very difficult to, to prevent a field goal in this game. So you will probably see Abram go for two if he scores here. But... Kind of just wild how this game has played out for Abram, honestly. This has kind of been his MC story. Um, he's gotten he I he did win a belt last year. I just can't remember which one. It might have it was uh it wasn't most feared, it wasn't the harvest one. It wasn't the was it the zero chill? It was zero I want to say it was the zero chill. I don't remember which which belt he won last year, but he won one last year. I know that. But he's just when the way Abram loses games, they're always these crazy, crazy, crazy games. Anywho, all right, time for Abram to be really good on offense. Uh, Lambo comes out in a completely different defense. This is totally a Lambo thing to do. I don't even know what this defense is. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is a little cross blitz. This has got to be Cub. Or is this, what is this? This is, no, 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 this is, uh, this is like 146. 146 crossfire. 146 crossfire with a little shift and a slant. Look at this. We haven't seen this all the game. Oh, he's just walking in too. Okay, we, we need to adjust to that. That's got to be 146. I mean, yeah, he's sh so 146 crossfire, move this guy in, shift right, and then you're basically trying to get this guy to loop through that gap on a sim four. In route, good read. And Abram's pretty much content to five out it. Just because that pressure doesn't come in super fast. It comes in, but it's not super fast. But yeah, I, I'm almost positive this is crossfire. And if you watch that deep at the tackle, he'll start a little bit to that right side. It's coming in every time. But Abram is destroying zone. Yeah, see how he's just to the right of step? That's definitely cross three fire. I just haven't seen it ran like that. Oh, the drag was so open. Tried to fit it in a window there. It's really interesting how these guys are throwing off anticipation a lot more at this point uh, in this tournament compared to like the first tournament of the year. Flat route. Yeah, you definitely see see a lot more throwing up anticipation against zone. Not as afraid of the switch stick. Um, which is kind of interesting. Personally, I'm still terrified of switch stick. I will say that. I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing. Um, I don't. I don't know. I just it's just a thing. Now he's gonna go to six one. No, he's back in three four up. Okay, back in three for odd. And we're doing everything you can to get a stop here. So key down. Love this combo. Eh. Eh, just not great coverage. He, he zoned everybody out. Here we go. Four the six. If Abram does not get a first down, Lambo will move on to the finals in his first MCS live event. Which is kind of crazy. That does not happen very often. Haven't called this play all game. He's going to look for the short corner on the left side. Actually going to audible back out. He's going to go to flood with a streak. Um, are you gonna, he can't go speed out on the left. He cannot go speed out on the left. The drag. Um, oh, gosh. Everything's covered. Uh-oh. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, he wins it. Oh, my gosh. Lambo. 
to the finals on an onside kick. 7-6 every play. GG's. Thanks for watching, boys. If you guys want to check out any of the schemes, any of the stuff that we're doing, make sure you check out our school community. School.com slash Cody Ballard. That link will be in the description below.